What's up guys, welcome back to another muscle car walk around here at Coyote Classics. Uh, in front of us is this beautiful 1973 Z28 Camaro. Uh, numbers matching, 354 speed. Uh, repainted in its original color red. Just a beautiful split bumper Camaro. Yeah, really cool RS Z28, guys. Original Z28 car. Um, as Dalton mentioned, the numbers matching 350. And what I was, uh, I didn't know that they had 285 horse from the factory in 1973, which is a ton in 73. I don't know many other uh, uh, muscle cars in 1973 with that uh, kind of horsepower factory. As we come up closer here to that paint, guys, the paint is absolutely fantastic. And it's that kind of that dark red uh, metallic. As we open up the hood, um, headers have been added. Factory four barrel, numbers matching engine, power steering, power disc brakes on the front, Dalton. We'll check that out, just to make sure I'm correct there. Power disc on the front. Good. Um, bottom of the hood's all done in its original matte black. Same thing with the inner fenders, guys. Pretty much bone stock under the hood, except for your headers and your uh, air breather. Got the factory uh, 350 brand new stickers that they did here. So you want to rev it up just a little bit so they can hear what it sounds like out the tailpipe and then check on the mileage, please. It's got a really nice sound and dual exhaust on it. 58,000 miles. 58,000 miles, the door buzzer still works. A previous owner had stated that it was a 58,000 original mile car. Um, and if you kind of judge the car and you look at the interior and you kind of look around it, it's very believable. And the way it drives too. Well, I personally haven't drove it, but Dalton drove it when it came in and he said it was spectacular. So we'll see what, uh, excited to drive it. Um, as we come to the front end, the grill is in beautiful shape, the bumper is nice. All the paint around that front split bumper is excellent. Such a cool design, the split bumper um, on these Camaros. They're just iconic. Yeah, the RSZ28s are fantastic cars. As we look at our hood gap right here, nice and even from front to back, lines up nice across the top of the hood to the top of the fender. Again, the paint has a beautiful metallic in it. Both gaps, passenger side gaps nice as well. All the way across the whole entire front is nice and even. Um, as you can see, you can see yourself anywhere in the paint, guys. I mean, it's just a beautiful shine. Tim buffed it out, but it was super nice when it came in here. Uh, back uh, hood sits up just a little bit, but not bad at all. Really fits nicely, the top of the hood, the top of the door. I really like this color as well. I mean, I haven't really seen any other Camaros in this color. No, we have, this is the first, uh, first uh, second gen Camaro that we've had in this color. It's a great color. And being original makes it a big difference too. It makes it nice. The windshield's in great shape. It's got the antenna in the windshield. Um, as we look across the top of the uh, roof, um, no dings, dance, it's perfect. And as we come in here, this is really nice and solid too. The rear sail area, there's no imperfections there that I can see. Now this Z28 came with the high spoiler, where I'm gonna be showing you in a couple days another 70 Camaro that has the lower spoiler. So you could get either or, this one's got the high one. Uh, back bumper's in excellent shape, all the chrome around the back, tail lights and stuff looks great as well. As we come back in here, you can just tell the quality of the paint job. They did a beautiful job, they took everything completely off um, and did a nice job in behind everything too. Rear valance looks good. The chrome on the uh, tailpipes are in excellent shape too, the chrome tips. As far as our wheels go, they're the original rally wheels, Firestone uh, tires. It has great tread on it, all four corners. The biggest thing is how straight the car is. So the paint has a great shine, the body's super straight, just something you can be super proud of. This dog leg area here so many times is going to show some sort of repair, bubbles, blisters. This one's in excellent shape. And just check out how the bottom of the door matches that dog leg there. It's really nice. The uh, rocker chrome's in good shape. 
Bottom of the door is excellent, bottom of the fender, no bubbles, no blisters, and our gap is great from top to bottom. Painted mirrors, the paint matches beautifully. Really nice new gaps, gaskets there. So as we come in here, but I did notice on the trunk, do you want to pop the trunk yeah. for me? Um, as we come in here, guys, when they repainted the car, they did repaint all the jams, all pre very professionally. The doors were off the car when it was painted, and so were the fenders. But they, if I remember right, they left a little bit of the original paint still in the door or in the trunk jam. In here, it's all nice and solid. The bottom of the fender, the inside corner of the door is good. Bottom corner right here has never had any filler in it whatsoever. Never had any repair. As we come in here, yeah, original paint, guys. So you can just tell the difference. This is just a single stage. This is how beautiful it looks when you got uh, West and Buff clear on there. But so it's the original paint all in this jam. Original rubber still. Again, if it's a big deal, we'll replace it. I just wanted to show how this is still the original trunk mm -hmm. area, the trunk paint, original Both quarters. quarters. Got the original stamping. So appear to be original quarters. And looking at them, I don't see. Yeah, even in here, it's got the original jack instructions, original mat. Um, this is what got, kind of points to the 58,000 miles. Right, exactly. You can see right here the paint, original paint is chipped along the edge. Same like in here. It's all solid, guys, the lip solid. But you can just see where the um, original paint is just getting rough here. Yeah, fits nice too. So the trunk lid fits excellent. Again, quality car. The back glass is crystal clear. Um, the back shelf's excellent. It's got the rear defrost. So many times those are busted, Dalton. Again, 58,000 miles. Um, really looks. Did you point out the corner of the door too? I did. No. Yeah, it's never had anything no, done to it. Not, not ever been a rusty car. Uh, door panels are excellent. Um, like brand new almost. It's got the retractable seat belts. The carpet's been replaced in it. The headliner is perfect. It's got all the original. Um, shoulder belts with the uh, factory holders in there. Visors are original, nice and tight. It's got the Hirsch uh, four speed with a new shifter. Back door panels, GM seat belts, back seat, back sails. Everything is absolutely perfect back there. Just kind of listen to how that door shuts. Um, I know what else to say about it, just a turnkey car. Quality. As we look up and down the driver's side, just as nice as the passenger side. The body line on the top of the quarter um, that goes to the mid door, all that to the fender all lines up really nicely as well. As far as our tire tread, it still has all the little ends on it, but the tire tread is excellent. Um, we're running uh, 235, 60s, probably all the way around. Um, as far as the paint goes here in the quarter, you can see our reflection all over in here. Um, no chips, nothing like that, no body issues. Same thing in this sail, just perfect. Tiny little chip right here on the edge of the door, very small. Other than that, this dog leg here is perfect. Check out how the bottom of the door lines up. Excellent right there. Lower door, lower fender. Everything is in excellent shape. The more I go around this car, Dalton, the more I fall in love with it. Like I said, when I was <clears throat> wiping it off a little bit a few minutes ago, I mean, I was just impressed with the overall quality of the paint and body. We're not trying to oversell, just a quality car and really not a whole lot of negatives to point out. No, there really isn't. One negative thing, we have a new one in the trunk. Um, this original, this just tells you this is hard. This original um, window felt here on the outside edge is hard and I have the new one in the trunk. We just didn't get it on yet. Just like the passenger side door jam, the driver's side jam is perfect as well. Paint is excellent as you come in here in the original quarter area. This car was factory z bar to Dalton. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. So they drill holes just like this. This one needs a plug. So they drill holes like this and they just spray this with a, an undercoating product and just kind of fill it up in there so it doesn't rot from the inside out. And then they undercoat it from the factory too. So uh, floors are excellent, but they have been factory undercoated. Um, inside the door jams, that paint is all excellent. That's been repainted as well. So as we come in, the seats here, 
excellent shape. There's no wear on any of the cords coming in and out. Carpet's new. 58,079 miles on the odometer. Um, it's got the Craig Z28 wheel, horn works. Another thing to point out is just look how crystal clear the original windshield is. Really nice. The windshield might not be original, but it's still crystal clear. Could be. Um, as far as our idling guys, um, right now here in neutral, and there's no uh, throw out bearing noise at all either. Um, in neutral, we're idling about uh, 750, 800 RPMs. Tap gauge works, um, gas gauge works, amp gauge works, heater fan. Only thing I noticed when I went through it that wasn't working was the radio. It's got an older style yeah, it's old, right? radio in it. So old, you might not know how to work this bad boy. Probably not, maybe that's why I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> it's an old tape player, dude. It's older than I am. It, it, yeah, it is, but it needs to be replaced. It's kind of, you know, but really as we look at this, uh, like the dash itself and all the bezels and stuff like that, it's got the original owner's manual, and as you look, the light even works in that glove box. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Another thing, our dome light works here, Dalton. And if you look, this headliner is mint. Yeah, it is. There's not a wrinkle in it, there's not a scuff in it. it it's just super nice Z28, real deal. I mean, this car is mad. This car is the perfect combination between nicely restored and original. Is it pretty fast for a 73? Do you remember? I didn't really get on it. I don't drive them like you do. I just took it out. The clutch felt great. Shifted awesome. It, it drove a lot like that. Uh, we had that Z with 20,000 original miles, that yellow one. Yep. Drove just like that as far as you drive it, and you're like, man, I bet this is exactly what they yeah. drove like. And that was a fantastic car, um, but this has got way better paint on it. Yeah, it does. Tack works perfectly. Speedometer works great. We're going to roll our windows up. It's such a beautiful day. Let's roll them up. Another thing to mention, guys, is those windows go up so smooth. Yeah, they do. I can just tell right now this thing's going to go. And it's got some power. Oh, yeah. So here's our brakes. We did talk about we had the disc brakes. Steering wheel is perfectly straight. Comes to a nice stop. No pull left or right. This is a cool car, guys. Whoever buys this one is going to love it. See how it breaks, the idle, the quietness going down the road here. This bends up. Whoa! Oh, shit! <laughs> Holy mackerel! Yeah, this one wasn't detuned. Oh boy. That made me nervous. Did you get a little nervous? A little bit. A little nervous. <laughs> Look at this thing though. 3600 RPMs, one finger on the wheel, 80 mile an hour. This thing is awesome, you guys. Seriously. <laughs> this has it all. The beauty, the solidness, the comfortable interior. Everything freaking works. The power, but, uh, apparently. Holy shit, speed. a lot of power, man. Like I said, that it sits you back, it throws you back in your seat. Yeah. It throws you freaking completely back in your seat at 75 mile an hour in fourth gear when you punch it. And that's the numbers matching, you know, 350 that's in it. You know, so it's not. That's what's so this cool. This thing rocks. It does. You better not miss any shifts or everyone's gonna give you shit in the comments again. Look at the fourth gear though, how it's still pulling at 100. 5,000 RPMs, 120, still pulling. And it doesn't feel like we're going 120. You know, usually in, in, in old car, you, 120 feels like 220, but this is just cruised. Wow. Well, that's what that is, the cop on our butt, but we're in pretty good shape today. I think it might be, but all right, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, might be getting pulled over here, but appreciate you watching. Go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. Um, check this thing out. You can be the next one to get a speeding ticket in it.